Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so happy. The Martinez family has been waiting for this moment for decades. Their long-lost sister found. Antonia Martinez was just three years old, living in Chicago when... The woman I was living with I thought was my mother. And she ended up trying to kill me, and she left me for dead and went and killed the neighbor woman. Well, I guess while she was in jail, they were saying, well, what do we do with your child? Instead of her sending me back to my mother, she sent me here to New Orleans to her mother. So that's why I never was with my family. She stole me. I ended up growing up in the Lower Ninth Ward here in New Orleans, thinking I was the only child, and... That was it. It's okay. We're happy yeah, to meet you. Okay. See you. But over 900 miles away, one of her sisters, New Antonia, was out there somewhere. Flash forward to 2018. No and if it wasn't for you, no. my dream of finding my sister has come true after so many years of looking for her. Part of this journey, thanks to genetic testing and a push from a friend. For centuries, in in terms of voodoo, we've always used divination to sort of connect the dots in terms of lineage and, and heritage. Now we have DNA. I had, after i take taken the ancestry DNA, I said that 23andMe test came out. So I'd taken that test last year in December, just to see, you know, and wow. As soon as I filled out all my personal information in there, it, it came up, you got a match. And I was like, wait a minute, can this really be her? When I called Nikki, I didn't know Nikki was driving that day. That first call? full of tears, especially after Martinez learned that she had nine sisters and a brother. She was not alone by any stretch of the imagination. DNA is powerful, and I would tell anybody, don't just take the one, because if she would have stopped at Ancestry, she never would have found me.